Hi. Now if you've looked at my previous tutorial on solving quadratic equations by factorizing, then here is a summary exercise which uh, you might like to try. Just give you a moment to pause the video, come back when ready, and I'll take you through the work solutions. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Don't forget you can fast forward if you want just to uh, check the overall answers. But uh, in the meantime, what I'll do is take you through each one individually. So for number one, we've got x squared minus 16 equals naught then. And to do something like this, there's two ways you can do it, but I'm going to factorize this first of all. And this is the difference of two squares. It factorizes to x minus 4 multiplied by x plus 4. Or obviously you can have it the other way around, x plus 4 times x minus 4. And this equals 0. And then we said that either one of these factors must equal 0. So x minus 4 could equal 0 or x plus 4 must equal 0. And if this is the case, that leads to x equaling 4 if we add 4 to both sides. And in this one, if we subtract 4 from both sides, we get x equals minus 4. Now there is another way that we can tackle this question. We can add 16 to both sides. So if we do that, we've got or x squared would equal 16. And then we square root both sides, so therefore x would be equal to the square root of 16. But we've got to be careful here. Remember, it is plus or minus. And that means that therefore x equals plus 4, or it equals minus 4. So do be careful with that way of doing it. Remember the plus or minus. OK, in the next one, number 2, what we've got then is to solve x squared plus 4 equals 5x. And for something like this, remember, what we've got to do is to rearrange this, make it equal to 0. So we'd subtract 5x from both sides. And this would be inserted at this position, just after the x squared term. So we get it in the right form. x squared minus 5x plus 4 then equals 0. And then we would factorize this in the usual way. It'll, there's no common factor here. It turns out to be two brackets, and it equals 0. And what goes in here is x minus 1 and x minus 4. And each one of these factors could equal 0, so therefore x minus 1 could equal 0, or the other factor, x minus 4, could equal 0. And for this one, if we add 1 to both sides, we get x equals 1. And in the second equation, adding 4 to both sides, x equals 4. OK, with number 3, with number 3, we've got x squared equals 5x. And remember in the tutorial I said to you don't divide by x here. If you divide by x and you, you just end up with x equals 5, which is a solution but it's not the only solution. Remember for this type of equation what we do is we subtract the 5x from both sides. So we get x squared minus 5x equals 0. Then we factorize and in this example there's just a common factor here of x. So we've got x bracket x minus 5, and that equals 0. So we've got two factors, x and x minus 5. So therefore, each of those factors could equal 0. So the first factor, x, could equal 0, or the second factor, x minus 5, that could equal 0. So we've got x equals 0 from here, or in this case, if we add 5 to both sides, we end up with x equaling 5. OK? So don't divide by x. You just get x equals 5, this solution. 0 is also another solution. OK, so moving on. Let's see what we've got next. For number 4, 
we've got to solve 3x squared equals 4 minus 11x. Okay, so 3x squared equals 4 minus 11x. We need to rearrange this so that it equals 0. So I'm going to subtract the 4 and add the 11x. But we put the 11x next, so we get plus 11x, and then minus 4, and that equals 0. There's no common factor here, but we can factorize this as two brackets. And if you do the two brackets, you should find you get 3x minus 1 in one and x plus 4 in the other. Again, we've got two factors here. Therefore, each of those factors could equal 0. So we've got 3x minus 1 equals 0 or x plus 4 equals 0. And with this one, if we just go straight to the answer, if we add 1 to both sides, we get 3x equals 1. And then divide by 3, we end up with x equaling 1 third. And in the second one, just subtract 4 from both sides and you get x equals minus 4. And for the last question, number 5, what we have is 3x squared plus 12x equals 0. So 3x squared plus 12x equals 0. Look for a common factor. And that common factor is 3x. So therefore, we've got 3x and then bracket x plus 4, and that equals 0. In this example, we've got three factors now, the 3, the x, and the x plus 4. 3 can't be equal to 0, so we can leave that. But x could be equal to 0, so put therefore x equals 0. Or the third factor, x plus 4, that can equal 0. And in the usual way, we've got x equals 0. Or for this one, if we subtract 4 from both sides, we've got x equals minus 4. OK, so I uh, hope you got them all right. If not, hope you've been able to see where you've gone wrong.